Hi guys, it's France. Welcome back for a new journal on Monday. This week I'm working in my mini moleskin sketchbook. I usually use this one to mop up ink or paint leftovers. And the page I'm working on today has some I don't know what on it. So I'm starting with a layer of gesso to cover it up, to know what it is I'm working on. This is a Prima mask, on top of which I'm applying a layer of ultralight molding paste to create a wall effect. I'm keeping it quite simple today uh, because I do have a lot on my mind and my hands are really sore. I've been working in the garden yesterday and I'm really paying the price today. So this is a piece of scrap watercolor paper on which I'm spraying some water and then some dilution ink. And I really want my paper to be saturated. So I'm going back in again with the same colors and then drying it. The video is about 10 minutes long and it took me a bit less than 45 minutes to do my page. Stamping my stamp on my background and then using a pencil I'm drawing the same kind of heart so that I can trim it in that shape. black soot distress ink on the edges and then I can start the fight. I want to add a wired edge all around the heart. Now I've done this before, I've done this for a home deco I made for a stamp boutique and I really wanted to have the same kind of thing in my art channel. So I'm cutting four pieces of the same length then I'm twisting them around each other. And once I have pieces for every edge, I will be tying them together using another piece of wire. So this is the last one. But as my first side is dry, I can go in for my second uh, page with the molding paste which I couldn't have done before because the, the first side was still wet and I would have uh, made marks in it just putting my mask down you could do the same with gesso if your gesso isn't too uh, liquid so now that I have all of my pieces that I need, I'm going to attach them together with a piece of wire again. Doing this with sore hands wasn't probably the best idea, but that's what I had in mind, so I went for it.
now that all my pieces are attached to one another, it's a matter of finding the right shape to put it on my background. Okay, back to my sketchbook, everything is dry, so I can add the layer of paint I want to add. And I just want to add some white acrylic paint. As I have my textured background, I do have to be careful not to leave big splotches of paint. Um, so I'm really working it in with my, with my paintbrush. This will also allow me to have a really crisp background, just like I wanted to have. It's a very thin layer, so it dries pretty quickly. I'm just giving it a little blow with my heat gun to make sure it's also dry around uh, the molding paste. Now I can place my heart on my background but I want to accentuate the texture a little bit. So I'm using the stress ink. It's simply vintage photo, but I'm applying it with a baby wipe because that's the way to keep it really, really soft and toned down. And as I'm working on acrylic paint, it, it is quite soft. The camera is hardly picking it up, but it's on there. And adding a bit more on the edges using a blending tool. This will allow the eye to know where to look to have edges around the piece. And now I can assemble everything. I'm gluing down my heart just using some tacky glue. But to glue down the wire I'm using glue dots. It's a bit of a fight, you really have to be motivated to get it on there, but it works. It's hard because my wire isn't flat, so the glue dot has to get some grip before it can stay on the wire. And now I can glue it down following the shape of my paper heart. And now I can add my wording, which is one I had laying on my table for a while now. I'll have to see if I can find its origin, but you'll find all the ingredients from this page, as usual, on my blog, France Papillon. And you can still enter for the Agenda 1896 giveaway. So check it out, leave a comment, and who knows, you might be one of the three lucky winners. I hope you liked today's page. See you next week. Ta-da!